If you've ever played a video game, chances are at some point you've been hunted down by an irate T-Rex, evolved your own pocket monster, mismanaged a dinosaur park, or betrayed your trusty dinosaur sidekick. Yahoo! From small indie projects to huge blockbuster titles, Ancient Life and Paleontological Science have inspired game developers and feature in hundreds of different games. From building your own museum and filling it with fossils, to role-playing as an ancient animal, or evolving your own weird and wonderful creature, the possibilities of paleo-inspired video games are endless. Video games can be a brilliant gateway for players to learn about different aspects of paleontological science from the comfort of their own home. And as technology develops, video game players can interact with and learn about ancient life in ways that are just not possible in other types of media. But it's important to remember that video games are not primarily designed to be educational. Often games will mix science fact with science fiction, and sacrifice accuracy in order to create the most engaging and memorable experience for the player. But for many players, games might be the only form of science communication that they are exposed to. Now we know that not all paleontologists and science communicators are video game players, but it's important to understand the public perception of paleontology, especially within this hugely influential medium. In our new paper, we outline the types of paleo-inspired video games out there, and flag the most common tropes, both positive and negative. By highlighting these tropes, the paper equips science communicators with the knowledge of the most common misconceptions and harmful aspects of gaming that they might encounter while undertaking scientific engagement. We also hope that this paper will be a useful resource for video game developers who may be unaware that they're propagating negative tropes about paleontological science. To read our paper, you can just Google the title. It's free and it's open access.